you know the thing? It's Christmas and my car still hasn't come back from the garage. They've got me driving a friggin' Lancer. Right. Mm. I got your email about Keith Warren. Mm. You want a sack him? Jonathan, he's had six months to turn around his depot, to turn around his stuff. Mm. That place is the same zoo that it was day one. Yeah, but look at his productivity report. He's up 3%. 3%? Other depots are up 8%. Honestly, he's got to go. I've cleared it with legals and everything's fine. When are you going to tell him? I'm Amanda Doyle, the new regional manager of Swift and Shift. The courier business should be simple, really. You, the client, phones our call centre and tells us what's going where. The radio room should organise a competent driver to take your package from A to B on time. It seems so simple. So why does Keith's depot always manage to stuff it up? Yeah, base three and a half. Man, what time is that party bus picking everyone up? You know, I want to leave my van in the car park so I can get, like, really smashed. Hey, Keith! Where's the party bus going? Keith! Is somebody calling me? Yeah, bro. What's this? A bill from the head office lawyer. Keith, when are we going? Well, I thought we were waiting for Leanne. She's got the Kris Kringle presents. Hey, Murray, I think we're going soon, so you better get here quick. Is your last job done? Yeah, nah, it's all done. Oh, oh, no, shut up! Just make sure you don't leave without me. Get your ass back in. Leanne! Leanne! Hey, Leanne! Maybe I should try and give it to Leanne this year instead of Melissa. What is this? You're joking, they're blocking the road for that little tiny, like, mouse hole. Mate, you have to stop! Understand this sign? It means stop! Mate, why am I stopping? What, are you burying somebody's pet with that tiny hole, mate? You don't get to fucking ask, mate. I'm a traffic controller and you're traffic, understand? Tell the mouse happy Christmas from me. You fucking coward, come back here! Did you just call me a coward? Come back, you fucking chicken! I'm a coward, am I? Hey! Uh, uh, call me a fucking coward! Stop. Hey, fucking... Not jungle bells. Not jingle bells. Not jingle bells. Oh, this drink has really gone to my head. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Not jungle bells. Jingle bells. His punch is as weak as piss boys. Cheers. So I said, you know, if I could walk that way. Swift and ship couriers. I'm sorry, we're closed. Don't you get it? Sorry, what? Hold on a second. Keith? I've got a caller saying one of our drivers is bashing a traffic controller. Oh, give it to Renzo. Where is he, anyway? I shouldn't have had that drink. I can't find him. Has anyone seen my husband? Come on, everybody. The party bus is here. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Peter Pan? Don't you get it? I'm an elf. Right? Are you taking the piss out of me? I don't care if it's Christmas, I'll fucking smash you, Oliver! Hey, George. Listen, bro. You're yeah. gonna have to lock up tonight, eh? Who do I want to go on the bus? What, you don't drink, bro? Aren't you on medication? Yeah. Oh, sweet, you can drive there then. But I don't have a car. Well, you can walk. Hey, and walk to the Hashfield Bowling Club, bro. <laughs> OK, don't forget the name, the Hashfield Bowling Club. Uh, OK. <laughs> Hey, that was pretty slack with George, bro. You know, telling him the wrong club in that, eh? Oh, as if I want George the spastic to come, bro. He's a dick. I'll see you there. I'm just going to check your friends they went home. I'm really worried. Oh, he's probably just going to get changed. And not leaving. Okay, everybody, listen up. After the shit year we've had, I reckon we all deserve to get pissed. Oh, hang on. What about Leanne with the Kris Kringles? And Mario wanted a lift on the bus. Well, listen, someone give them a call and tell them to meet us there, OK? Hello? Yeah, it's Melissa. Hey, listen, I just come from head office and uh, there's not much money to put on the bar, you know. It's only about 400 bucks. What? 
pack of tight asses. Jim will drink that in five minutes. Hey, Keith, you didn't invite Murray or Mario, did you? Yeah, well, I think Mario's coming, but no one's contacted Murray, I'm sure. Anyway, I'll see you there. Oh, piss off, Darren. You know, I kind of feel sorry for Keith. I mean, he's not a bad bloke, really. Oh, just think what a better job we'll be doing when he's gone. Mm. It, it does feel nice, though. Or the power, I mean, you know. You're fired. You try. You're fired. Yeah, yeah you're right. It makes you feel all warm. It does. Oh, God. Who farted? <laughs> Get off, mate! I'll fucking find you and I'll burn your house down. Yeah, well, while you're burning down my house, I'll be wearing your vest and rooting your wife, mate. No! no and I'll be telling her to go slow. No! Oh, and, and, and stop on the G spot, darling. No! Yes, mate. No! Where's the free piss? Hey, everybody, we've got karaoke. That puff's not with us, is he? <laughs> Jackie, why are you dressed like that? I thought they say it's dress up party. Bro, Christmas party. Christmas, not dress up. Hey, Leonard. I hope we're going to have a dance later. Yes! <laughs> Moi, it's Melissa. Hey, Melissa, can you get that money on the bar? Uh, hello, everybody. Um, firstly, I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And just to let you know, the karaoke machine is on for anybody who'd like to have a sing along. Yeah, but they're all Christmas songs on the list. This is boring as shit. Oh, bloody Christmas carols. Who organised this? Isn't that what you told me to do, boss? Fucking Christmas carols. Oh, where's Leanne with the presents? I'm gonna get home soon. Oh, did the bus go already? Yeah, I think so, and I've got all the presents. Which club did they go to? I don't know. Keith said he was saving it as a surprise. Uh, Kev said they're going to the Hashfield Bowling Club. I just have to lock up now. Did you say the Hashfield Bowling Club, man? You know, he's mental. What can you do? Far out. I wanted to drink. Now I have to drive. You know, look, don't worry. What we'll do, put all the presents and you, and we'll go in my van. Yeah, but aren't you drinking? I wasn't going to, but because we're going together and I'm driving, I'll get smashed. But then, look, what can happen? We'll just sleep in the van if worse comes on worst. Did anyone call Leanne? Oh, yeah, I've been trying to call her, but she's not picking up. If you want to change your clothes in the back of the van, you're fully welcome. I can't hear you. What? Is it too loud? I'll oh, turn it down. Oh, that, that's not mine. Oh, my cousin Louie, like, he borrowed my van and, you know, he must have left it in there. Dirty crickies. Oh, I hate pornos. No, it's really dark and you're wearing sunglasses? Yeah. So, like, how can you see when you're driving? No, I can see good. No worries. Place? They're probably doing like a pub crawl. 
Because you know them party buses, they go from like, you know, pub to pub. You just sit down and wait. They're coming. Well, um, because we're waiting, we might as well have a drink. What do you want? Yeah, I'll just get a sex on the beach. Uh, you just uh, one bourbon and coke and um, get a Bailey's and just put some like of some of them colours in it so it looks similar to Sex on the Beach, but I don't really want to pay that much. Uh, Triple Bacardi, one by one, thanks. It's uh, twenty-eight dollars. <laughs> but what about the tap? They just finished it off. Yay! Keith, those assholes finished the bar tap. Oh shit! Already, you little shit. When are we gonna have that dance you promised me? Uh, 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 hey, hey, Abdul, how you going? I'm good, bro. Hey! These guys drank the bar tab. We haven't even fucking eaten yet. I'll relax, will you? It's the jolly season. Ho, ho, ho. Smash him, David. Right, you jolly puffer elf with your puffer hat making fun of me. You wanna go, Puff? Come on! I'll get over yourself, little man. Smash him! David, smash him! Is he gonna take your sunnies off? I'm just gonna go to the toilet. Amanda, hi. Is everybody there? Because I'm on my way to fire him and I want all the staff to see it. Yeah, nearly everybody's here. Um, there may be a few who can't make it, but... Uh... This is what good management is all about. You just pissed on my leg! Hello, Damien. Uh, uh, sorry, Amanda. <laughs> I will see you there soon. Stop! 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 <laughs> I had one champagne and then that tool face, he just, he leapt out at me. I'm a traffic controller and she nearly killed me. It's fucking Christmas and she nearly killed me. I know that woman. She fired me when I used to work for the courier company. Now you get out. You are fired. What? Keith, can she bone me? I fucking love that job. She's buying point zero four nine on the limit. What do you want to do? Amanda! Seems as though you might be in a little bit of trouble. Man, I think you're burning your hands, mate. There's a smell. Mate, you've tried both of them hands twice. Are you sleeping? What are you doing, mate? Move, move. Give me a go. Excuse me, my friend's in the toilet and I've got to leave. Could you tell him the party's at the workers' club in Hashfield Heights? No problem. Which is your friend? Oh, oh fuck me! You just... You spilled it all over me, you dick! Um, he's wearing the yellow shorts. You can't miss him. Excuse me, man. 
Okay. You know there was a chick like there with the presents before and the hair extensions? Yeah. Like, did she go? Yeah. Anything else? Hey, another person from work. Okay, now that we are all pleasant again, I would like to introduce to you my new boyfriend. This is Fernando, which I've met through work. <laughs> That's that forest that keeps ringing. Hello, everybody. That's the fucking forest. Shall we sing a song, Fernando? You know I love it when you sing for me. <gasps> On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a fair tree. It's pear tree, you fucking girl. Hey, you two want to have a dance? Uh, I don't think we can dance to this Christmas music. In a pear tree. Excuse me, Darren. Excuse me. Thanks. My name, My name is Oliver. Oliver. Yes. All right. Now listen, I know you're all upset about the bar tab, so I've cancelled the food, and we're going to use that money so there's more drinks on the bar. What do you say about the food? So, would anyone like a drink? Can I have a smoothie? I don't think they have smoothies, George. Yeah, look, just get me a cocktail, sex on the beach. Then can I please have a sandwich? What sort of sandwich would you like, man? One like a Christmas one or just a normal one? A Christmas sandwich will be fine. So do you think one day you're going to get better or are you just going to stay like this? What do you mean, better? Do you serve sandwiches here? Let's face it, you're no brain surgeon. Are you? Um, excuse me. I got some music from my cousin's car. Cause this Christmas music is a bit insensitive to our religion. Shut up, you dick. And Santa Claus is just bullshit American propaganda! <laughs> Thank you. You all know this one. <laughs> Sing along. I told you before, I don't want to talk. Oh. Hello? Hello, who? Larry. Fuck up, kid. Pardon me? I said shut the fuck up, bro. Where have you been? I think it's time for me to go home. Do you know you're wearing sunglasses and we're uh, inside, away from the sun? Just wait here for your Christmas sandwich, George. Um, excuse me. Do you mind if I sit next to you? I just, I'm trying to get rid of that guy who's like been talking to me the whole time. Just, can we pretend like we're just together in that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? Where have you been? I've been worried. I was just in the club waiting for everyone. What are you talking about? That's not the club. Yeah, Drongo? Can I sit with you? No, man, I'm, I'm, I'm here with my chick. See? We're talking. We need privacy. Go away. OK. We're here? No, no. Keep going. Probably the other side of the room. OK. Oh. Oh, um, do you reckon you could mind my bag while I go to the toilet? Yeah, yeah no worries. Um, just, just hurry back, but, huh? Hello? It's Renzo here. George sent us to the wrong club. Everyone's at the Hashfield Heights Workers Club. Call let us in. Hey, I'm a lover. I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. He, he's a fighter. It can be a real bitch being a sales rep. I mean, all the corporate functions, it's really hard to stay slim. The food, the food, and the food. 
I just get really pissed and at the end of every night I have to throw up. <laughs> she is smacking fast. Hey, we can break into the pool down the road. Ooh, you need your thing. <laughs> oh, these presents are worse than last year. I oh, know. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Well, make sure you all stick around. There's going to be a big announcement later. <gasps> oh, sorry. Let's use the disabled. <laughs> Yeah, hi, Amanda. Uh, Keith here. Yes, I'm so sorry to hear about your little accident. Listen, Keith, I'm not sure what your friend, the uh, policeman, has told you, but uh, I'm not in the company cards. Oh, Amanda, there's no need to explain. I just want to remind you of the MD's email about zero tolerance on drink driving this Christmas. All right, Keith, what do you want? That lady has been in the toilet for a long time. Hey, bro. Think you better take your woman home. She's had too much to drink. Nah, man, I'm not with her. You said she was your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I did, but, like, I... Don't listen to him. Look at him. <laughs> don't throw up, don't throw up. <laughs> oh! That's it, you're paying for a cab. Picked up a boiler, huh? She's not with me, mate. If the boiler vomits, there's a cleaning surcharge. What's a boiler? <laughs> oh! Your boiler repulses me. Leave me alone! I'm all right! You dropped the keys. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. Stand back, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, while you're burning down my house, I'll be wearing your vest and rooting your wife, mate. No! Nah. <laughs> what are you doing with my wife, you mugger? <laughs> Settle, something important to tell you. Shh. I just got a phone call from Amanda regarding the big changes that will be made in the new year. Why didn't she call us? Keith looks happy. First up, remember Murray from Dispatch? Well, he's coming back next year as our new efficiency coordinator. Yeah. I'm quitting. Going back to Swift and Shift. It's much less stressful than this shit. <laughs> and Karen, you'll be going into the phone room. We all know how understaffed we are in there. Well, I don't want to sit next to me. <laughs> <laughs> and Damien, you'll be going into dispatch. You know how to work a radio, don't you, mate? There's no way I'm sitting next to this faggot. Oh, and Amanda has very kindly donated another 800 bucks on the bar. Yes! <laughs> my ass. You're delusional, bitch. I didn't even touch you, man. Do you want me to push you over? What's going on after here? <laughs> Mate, this is just... In the end, it was a shit Christmas party. I finally had to charge David with sexual harassment. Mate, I'm a dwarf. Take me to court and see which way it goes. He got off, the little bastard. <laughs> Mario spent Christmas in jail for bashing the traffic controller. How come the Smurf gets off and I don't? <laughs> the twins and Melissa thought they were getting a threesome. Hey, you! Oh. But the bloody dickheads got community service. That girl just can't handle the grog. <laughs> On the bright side, Santa came early for Renzo and Doreen. Oh, you joking! Did we miss it? The bloody club's licence runs out at 11 o'clock. They went home and for the first time in 10 years had a little hanky-panky. <laughs> <laughs> Al uh, got something okay? she'll never forget. Do you, do you still want to kiss me? <coughs> After? Herpes. And I went home to bed and slept like a baby, knowing that in the end, I stuck it right up Amanda. Her position is currently under review. Jonathan, yeah, it's me. Um, look, regarding Keith Warren, I've been thinking about what you said, and 3% um, is quite good, isn't it? Christmas, I'll fucking smash you, Oliver! And Santa Claus is just bullshit! American propaganda!